Newton's second law of motion is most often represented by the mathematical equation of F equals M times A, where F represents the net force acting on the object, M represents the mass of the object, and A is the acceleration of the object. The unit of force is a Newton. The acceleration of an object is caused by the net force applied to it. The acceleration is directly proportional to the magnitude or size of the net force and in the same direction as the net force. The acceleration is also inversely proportional to the mass of the object. In application, this means that heavier objects or objects with more mass will require a greater net force to accelerate. We can use this simple equation from Newton's second law to complete calculations with many applications and with virtually any force in the universe. In this example, a cart is accelerated across a frictionless surface from rest to a velocity of 10 meters per second in 5 seconds. This is done by applying a net force of 16 newtons. We might ask, what is the mass of the cart? We know that acceleration is the change in velocity in a certain amount of time. In this case, we have gone from 0 meters per second to 10 meters per second in 5 seconds. This gives us an acceleration of 2.0 meters per second squared. And with a known net force of 16 newtons, we are able to calculate the mass of the object. A force of 16 newtons divided by an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared is equal to a mass of 8 kilograms.